What is up, everybody? Got a new gun location here. This is for the Taver. It's an assault rifle, and it's actually a really good one. Unfortunately, in my giant pile of weapons that I have in my inventory, I haven't found one in a really long time. So I'm going to have to go to a bivouac and craft one up to show you guys the Taver. But I do remember it firing quite nicely. And um, I'm going to resume this video once we get there. So the location for this, that's kind of important, what this whole video is about. It is in the, what is this called? Wild Coast. It's in the Wild Coast. And a main mission actually brought me here. It's in the Engine R&D Center. Now, this place was pretty well fortified. Um, I don't know if it's like high level or not. It doesn't look like it. But, uh... It is here. There's also a couple of other things. Nothing, no, no blueprints or anything. Nothing really important other than the tavern. But this is the location engine R&D center in the wild coast. And yeah, I'm going to go craft it up and let me let you guys know what I think of it. All right, guys. So I crafted up the tavern and um, it's actually a pretty decent one. I, I, I got an accuracy roll. The, the range on the tavern is what sucks. So if I was ever going to use this gun, I would make sure that I had a range roll. It rolled accuracy and reload speed, so the accuracy is really high. But the the range is going to be super, super low. Now, um, as far as mods go, let's see here. It can't use the maul, unfortunately, the, the laser... The laser that um, is green and gives you the range. But it can use a range finder. It just makes the time to aim go down. But we're going to equip that. Um, we're going to do it with the standard muzzle so we can hear the sound of the gun. Let's see what else we got here. Scopes. It will let me put my favorite scope on it, which is the Comp M4. Under barrel. Let's see what we got here. We can just use the shift vertical grip. Um, this just gives 7% better vertical recoil. The others have some pretty bad trade-offs, like horrible horizontal recoil for some better vertical. Like This one's just really bad. 15 better vertical for 15% worse horizontal reload speed and shot spread. Like That's just bad. I would never, ever wear that. So we're going to go with that and try shooting this gun, see what it feels like. Um, where do we got, where do we got to shoot here? It does have, um, yeah, it, it definitely has kind of low range. There is some serious bullet drop on it compared to some of the other assault rifles. So I think if you were going to use this, if this is your favorite gun, I think it would be um, important to get the range roll on the gun and then use the range finder but it's got nice recoil nice tight groupings it's almost just straight up vertical if I don't try to adjust anything it just goes right up the tree and then if I try to keep it um That's pretty decent. I like it. It's a lot better than some of the assault rifles, for sure. Um, there's a lot of really shitty assault rifles, and what's weird is they're most people's favorites. Let's look at the stats again on this. This thing has 20 base damage, like the, the weaker of the ones. Um, 650 RPM. It's pretty low. Uh, am I reading this right? 9 millimeter ammo? Um... Is this a glitch? Are we in the matrix here? Yeah, that that that's wrong. That's definitely just your standard Stanag mag there. That's a 5.56. Five, and I'm not sure why it says 9mm, but hey. Mm, yeah. Strange. <laughs> Very strange. But um it does have really good accuracy. It has really good um tight groupings and real good handling. Not a bad gun. Not my preferred gun. SC20K is still my preferred gun. 
Um, but I would choose to use this over something like the M4 or 416 myself if I had to choose between the two. And don't forget to check out my other videos. I've got a lot for other gun locations, attachments, blueprints, um, little mini reviews like this one on the gun, uh, how I think it fires and compares to others. And I'm also streaming live, Twitch TV slash Inigo Montoya, so you can check me out there. Thanks for watching, guys.